ASX owes its appearance to marketers. They decided that as compact as a pack of biscuits, the crossover should be present in the lineup of almost every brand. Mitsubishi is also not left out. True, I hesitated. The crossover was shown back in 2007, and production began only two years later. ASX arrived in Ukraine in 2010, however, it immediately pleased with very competitive prices. There were no bright disputes around the design of the machine, but sales moved forward sharply. The marketers were right. By nature, the car turned out to be somewhat eccentric and jumpy. The legacy of the Dakar victories of the company affected. But in general, taking into account the price, the market perceived ASX positively. The presence of a shortened Outlander platform also added solidity to the shooter. And it is customary to call it successful. The diesel engine remained for the Europeans. Three petrol engines were supplied to us. All atmospheric and four-cylinder, 1.6 to 117 liters. S. 1.8 to 140 horsepower and 2.0 to 150 horsepower the all-wheel drive version relied only on a 2.0 liter engine with a CVT. With other engines, it was possible to purchase a 5-speed manual gearbox. Well, a completely reliable automatically controlled clutch was in charge of connecting the rear axle. Let's make a reservation right away. The least claims fell on the 2.0 liter engine. Although in general it can be argued that all motors are quite reliable. The weak side of the least expensive, but the most highly accelerated 1.6 engine is its demanding fuel quality. After refueling with left-handed gasoline, you can easily rattle to flash the brains into the service. By the way, about rattle. Among the ailments of this motor, noticeable detonation under load has been noted more than once, which is considered normal. They also love 1.6 and 1.8 engines to taste butter beyond measure. So you have to keep an eye on the level. Moreover, in winter, a 1.6-liter unit strives to get rid of it in an unauthorized way, it squeezes it out through the dipstick and oil seals. This is a symptom of a frozen crankcase ventilation pipe, but if the vagaries of the engines are not critical, then the variator must be monitored in both eyes. Here it is quite reliable, it can cover 150,000, and possibly even more kilometers. But in difficult conditions, he likes to overheat, which is why the car stops driving. But you can ignore light jolts during acceleration, this is the norm. They say that this is how the torque converter is blocked. However, the owners of the mechanics should not relax either, the clutch burns easily, and changing it is expensive, working with parts will cost under 15,000 Ukrainian hryvni. So far, everything is not critical, especially since the company seems to have won the detonation of 1.6 by 2012. Mitsubishi fought during restyling and with the imperfection of an overly fidgety rear suspension. But the relatively low resource of the front suspension parts could not be eliminated. ASX is a little provocateur, he constantly demands activity. Perhaps that is why the category of consumables includes stabilizer bushings with a resource of no more than 40,000 kilometers. They themselves are inexpensive, but the work will require investment. And in general, the wear of rubber metal hinges occurs here quite quickly. The front shock absorbers do not shine either, which often begin to leak or knock after 50,000 kilometers. The cost of a new shock absorber is about 4,000 Ukrainian hryvni. In terms of electrical and electronics, no special claims have been recorded for the crossover. Yes, and he got a pretty salon. He does not like frost again. Plastic do beat and begins to sing. Fairly complaints got in the body. LKP weakly resists impacts, chips and scratches quickly appear. Rust can appear from under the rear arches already in the third or fourth year of operation. In a word, Mitsubishi ASX, although it picked up some of its tails after restyling, still did not become an ideal. Its advantage is still the price and peppy appearance. However, a car with non-critical mileage, equipped with a 2.0-liter engine and a CVT, say, 2012 to 2013, can be an excellent workhorse for a few more years. Range Rover, for a lucky and at the same time aristocratic character, he is forgiven for all his shortcomings. If you look, there are not so many of them, it's just that not everyone is able to maintain the third generation Range Rover. And you will have to keep it exclusively in the best possible way and refuel only with high quality fuel. Otherwise, a financial catastrophe is imminent. Can you tell me how much a high pressure fuel pump costs for such a car, or can you guess? In a word, a single tank of the left solarium is capable of exposing you for 50,000 hryvnios. Mostly they criticize the cars of the first years of production. 2002 to 2003. We do not argue, there were decently sores here, either the electric drives do not work, or it pours from the radiators, the taillights sweat, but by 2004, the giant had become almost a good boy. 
reviews and work on the bugs carried out conscientiously. And the reason for a visit to the service of used car owners is mainly a suspension check. Particular attention should be paid to ball joints, stabilizer struts, silent blocks, suspension arms and steering rack. Noise isolation is good, no knocks are heard from the cockpit. Well, airbags, of course. No matter how you wash them, no matter how you shake them, they will still break. Only before that, if they are not raped, they can easily retreat their 150,000 kilometers. And the rear suspension is generally a long liver, given the weight of the car. At the dawn of sales, only a 4.4 liter V8 was supplied to us under the M62 index with a return of 286 horsepower. From BMW. Diesel inline 6 M57 with a volume of 2.9 liters, 177 horsepower, from the same Bavarians was imported by Gray and resellers. However, they got rid of this, in principle, a successful legacy for restyling. Since 2000, the company has been under the patronage of Ford. And the base petrol unit was a 306 horsepower V8 with the same volume of 4.4 liters. The compressor version of the engine, 4.2 liters, has already delegated 396 horsepower. German Diesel gave up on Ford's 3.6 liter V8 AJD series, developed jointly with the French from Peugeot Citroën. The top one was a 5 liter V8 petrol with a capacity of 510 horsepower. And what is characteristic, there are at least no complaints about all these chain motors. Is that the gasoline Bavarian has been caught eating oil more than once. And so the complete order, high quality fuel and oil, replacing the chain after 150,000 kilometers and regular, once every six months, cleaning the throttle valve allow you to enjoy the car from Her Majesty's garage for a long time. Match and transmission. These were always ZF automatics, but with a gradually increasing number of gears. By 2012, there were already eight of them, which did not eliminate the need to lubricate the transmission every 50,000 kilometers. It's safe here too. Well, where, you ask, are those breakdowns, thanks to which a lot of jokes arose about Land Rover's passion for service visits. They are. More precisely, they may. When there are usually no problems with the torsion differential responsible for the all-wheel drive, when the aluminum body, the details of which are almost never corrected, but are completely changed, is completely immune to corrosion, and when the luxurious interior of an SUV, if it creaks, then with the intonations of a loved one Sir Winston Churchill's leather armchair, expect electrical trouble. There are no weak points in electrics and electronics, absolutely everything can fail at any moment. The car hung in the upper position of the air suspension, the screen of the onboard computer went out, the air conditioner died or the inner axle lock does not turn on. The problem is in the head, or rather in the brains, and more precisely in the electronic unit responsible for a specific node. That is why before buying such a machine, you need to diagnose all the errors. In a word, we are not going to dissuade anyone from buying the Range Rover 3. It's useless. Just remember that even a tiny sensor on it costs several thousand hryvnios. And replacing a steering rack or a pair of shock absorbers can even provoke an emergency sale of an emergency car.